return style and we are up for best rock performance, best rock song, and best metal performance. We are all together. We were in Charlotte, day on, gray, rainy. It didn't really seem like anything super pleasant was going to happen except for like Starbucks and Olive Garden. <laughs> but lo and behold, some really, really awesome news came through as everybody was waking up. We were uh, we were all sitting two feet apart from each other, like <laughs> I was basically holding each other half awake, like looking at it to be like, oh, the YouTube stream is working, man, what's going on? <laughs> so yeah, everybody was like, you know, shoulder to shoulder, basically. A lot of surprise, a lot of shock. Like it was just nice to all be up kind of in our pajamas, like it was Christmas morning, uh, huddled around this TV on like a very cold, rainy, um, gloomy off day. And yeah, we just kind of huddled around this TV and I didn't expect anything. I don't think any of us did. So uh, yeah, not having any expectations definitely made the surprise like really exciting. We all called our like parents and close friends and partners immediately afterwards. Um, yeah, but it was really cool. Yeah, it was the same as theirs. It was it was really good just all being together, especially we had been on tour for a long time. So it was a good a good way to kind of have a comforting day together and celebrate. Oh, yeah, I definitely called my I called my mom because she's been calling herself, you know, band mom for like 20 years now. <laughs> and if, if I could have predicted what she's saying, I drove you in my van to the first show you ever played. That was a really nice full circle moment. And yeah, she had to be the first one to know. We all just called our parents first and then partners second, then, you know, balloon from there. Like calling your parents and saying that, like, I don't know if I at that moment had even like, realized what was going down, but it's cool. Like when you call your dad, who's like 76 and he's like, ah, oh, this is the craziest thing. Like, I can't believe watching you guys. And like now so the Grammys to him resonates like, way differently than, you know, a 20, 30 year old person. So that's really cool on paper to say to your parents who can like recognize that and like, like you can really impress them because that's really all you can do is like impress your parents for sure. Yeah, definitely. We're like, my, my girlfriend comes to shows and she'll come on tour and she, she knows all of us really well, knows the culture. So like deeply embedded into the band and the community that like, it's more of a first-hand experience, but with parents, like, they only see so much. Like, they've been there the whole time, and they've, like, made it possible for you to be loud in the basement, practice your instrument, have those band practices, and I've seen the whole thing from afar in that way. So I think it hits, like, extra hard for them when news like that comes in. We're like, wow, something I've, like, you know, I've tried to, like, cultivate um, and be as, like, supportive of for as long as possible, has now like reached this pinnacle of success. I think it's like the biggest possible thing for a parent. And so it's like really exciting to like deliver that news to them. Personally, JD Beck and Domi. What's up, y'all? This is B.O.B. This is G-Eazy. I'm Mo. This is Julia Michaels. This is Logic. Make sure you subscribe to the Recording Academy channel. Flex.